What's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of, you guessed it, Road to Pro. It's been a while, almost two years. I haven't had a lot of things that I could talk about. I wasn't sure what to talk about with you guys. I did the main subjects, I covered the main points. But there was something I missed, and this one is probably the most difficult lesson to overcome. Choking in a match. I was recently in Kentucky, 2019, Kentucky, well, or I guess it's the tour kickoff currently, and uh, I was approached by so many of you guys, so many Foozers, thanking me for these videos. Guys, I cannot thank you enough for liking them, for being fans, and for reaching out and saying that you appreciated them. Uh, it means the world to me. Thank you so much. But the number one question I got from multiple people, not one, not two, but like four people asked me the same question. Chase, why am I choking? What can I do to overcome this? It's actually, you're not choking. I, I don't think people choke all that often. You can lose, you can get beaten, but, but the actual thing when it comes to choking, it, you've gone off game plan. And I keep saying this over and over again. You gotta stick to your game plan. Who are you as a player? You gotta stick to it. I most recently had started playing some, uh, some events with other people that I don't normally play with. And I found myself not doing as well in those events, and I, I kind of realized something. It, it's not because I'm not playing well, it's not because they're not playing well. It's because we both are losing the game plan. We've come off of the game plan. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're a stick series, five bar, you know, you're a forward, you use a stick series most of the time. Well, all of a sudden you're up in, under pressure and you start using a brush pass because you're not, you're not confident with your stick series all of a sudden. Well, why would you not dig deeper? Find another way with your stick series. Use what you're good at. Do it better, but don't, abandon it and, and not be you. It's better to lose being you and learning from that than changing your game plan and losing completely because you're not playing as yourself and you go, well, why did I do that? Well, it's easy. You left the game plan out the window. You know, don't start tic-tacking if you've never tic-tacked before. If you're a brush passer, don't start throwing stick series and shooting five bar shots. That's silly. Stick to your game plan. And I'm going to call somebody out here, and, and it's in a very positive manner. Um, Mason Grant, I know you're watching. Don't even play. That's a dude that sticks to his game plan. He doesn't, I've never seen him choke. He may say that he does. I've never seen it. He may lose, but he doesn't choke. And it's because he sticks to his game plan. He shoots a rollover and goes to a brush series. And that's his wheelhouse. That's where he lives. That's where he should live. He's good at those things. Stick to the game plan. If you go back and you watch a ton of matches, okay, Terry Moore, um, who is known for his brush pass and his rollover, he sticks to the game plan. If you look at Dave Gummison, essentially a stick series uh, at, at the heart of it, you know, hesitation wall, lane pass, pull shot. You don't see this dude all of a sudden do a brush pass. Okay, you don't see it. You don't see this guy all of a sudden set up a rollover. You don't see these guys do that. They win or lose in their game plan. Stick to your game plan. That is the number one thing I can tell you about not choking. That is how you don't choke. Stick to your game plan. Too many rookies, too many beginners, they start throwing in stuff they've seen at the tournament event or, well, that worked in a match five matches ago. That's not you. Just because it worked once doesn't mean it works. Stick to what you know. Get good at what you know. Be a master of one. Tr don't try and be a jack of all trades. That's just a fact. If you think about it, what's Tony known for? Tony Spriedman. Far wall, rollover. He sticks to his wheelhouse. We've all seen him do crazy stuff on a foosball table. But when the pressure is on, stick series on the far wall, rollover. It's that simple. All of the greats, that's how they play. 
They stick to the game plan, win or lose. It's not about choking, it's about sticking to the game plan. If you stick to the game plan, you're gonna win a whole lot more matches. I wish there was more I could show you on the table about this, but it's just that simple. If you go in playing how you play, not how your friends play, not how other people say you should play, but how you play, at least you can walk away from the table and say, hey, I lost with my game plan. I lost going into this match how I wanted to play, how I planned on playing. If you do that, you can at least walk away with your head held high. But if you walk away from a match because you started doing something you don't do, that's because you choked. That's getting off the game plan. If you stick to the game plan, you win more matches, guys. It's that simple. That's all this video is. It's for you. It's a simple road to pro. Don't choke. And until next time, guys, happy foozing. That's how you not choke. That's it. That's how you not choke. That's the worst thing I've ever said in my life.